And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Tuesday, the 15th of August 2023. Today, we, Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session today. So, across the news, we saw US stocks close higher overnight. All the major indices close to the upside, with the NASDAQ outperforming, the Dow just squeaking out some very small gains. But undoubtedly some buying pressure coming back in whether this is temporary or otherwise remains to be seen of course but we are seeing u.s futures slightly higher in the asian session asian markets are mixed in early trading the asx is up around 0.6 percent the nikkei slightly outperforming on the back of some positive japanese gdp european futures are pointing to a higher open the vix remains near historically low levels as we've been discussing over the last few weeks US dollar finished higher again, reaching the 200 EMA yesterday. It is neutral in Asia so far. Gold tested the 200 EMA to the downside. And 1900 is in sight after more selling was evident. Copper is just about holding the important 370 key level this morning in Asia. And oil has pulled back after a brief test of the nine month highs it last week. Bitcoin remains in a range between 29 and 30,000. And as well as final earnings numbers due this week, primarily from the retail stocks in the US. We do have a significant amount of data coming across the wires today. As we've already referenced, Japanese GDP beat expectations. The RBA minutes are out and Australian wages dropped, which was good. Chinese retail sales were lower than expected, sparking talk of a potential stimulus. And we've already seen the PBOC act accordingly with a tweak of interest rates. UK jobs, Canadian CPI and US retail sales are all due later. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the FX front, we're looking at the Canadian dollar yen. And you can see there on a four hour chart, we've had a breach of this key level at around about 108.10. The upside on this is possibly to maybe around about 108.68. So a uh, best part of a 60 pip move. If we look at the hourly chart, you can see there we've just paused a little bit after breaching the, this level earlier this morning so not surprisingly low volume at this time of day so watch this as european markets open and we get some more traders coming in on the asx eml are interested in us we're back over the 200 ema in this ai stock potential move up possibly to test the highs that we hit early in july at around about this 88 or 89 level from today's price action, that would be a very healthy 11% rise. Of course, it is a relatively cheap stock at around about 80 cents currently. So one to watch potentially. The importance of this level is obvious simply because of this key landmark back here in April. So push over this level right now could see us up to 90 cents. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.